but it's so great. Plunder! 80 gold. Nice. Um, his TP points. After he plundered a ship! Oh, so beautiful. Okay. Hello, everybody, and welcome to a brand new series on Pixel Piracy. This game has been out on Steam for about a year or so, and I finally decided that it was time for me to get it. It has been an amazing experience playing the two hours I've already played, and guys, there there is probably no better pirate game out there than Pixel Piracy. It is an RPG-style game, so basically... You hire new pirates, and then you upgrade them, and you hire new pirates, you upgrade them, and then you, you can uh, put them in the different categories, you can make them do different things. It is just full of things that you can do, so let's go ahead and get started, guys. So new game, I'm going to overwrite this save because I only played 33 seconds on it anyways. Let's go ahead and call me, call myself, Nathan3518. And I'm going to make it Captain Mode because I have I have played it for about two hours. So I think I'm good for that. And tutorial we don't really need. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. Before we get started though, this is a cool aspect of it. They let you choose how your world will turn out. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So right here, what do you think about your world? Um, let's just say we have more monsters. So basically they do some sentences and then you have three choices. So do you want more monsters? Do you want more mystery? Or do you want drama? And I like to choose monsters. I think monsters are good. Um, now this is a pretty easy choice for me. Um, they, they're asking if you would like um, the most recent event to uh, be a plague. Um that killed many people, a great war, or a very rare comet. Plague means there's going to be a plague. Long dangerous nights for the comet, and then more ship encounters for the great war. And I really like the ship encounter type of um, parts of this game. So let's go ahead and pick that. And the last one is, how do you remember your father? Now, I would usually choose the extra starting pirate, but... This is the thing. Whenever you choose this, I believe it affects the, um, the the people that you get later on in the game. So if you get this guy, the extra starting pirate, then that means that other people that you will get want more money from you, probably because you're not as well known as your father. I don't know. I, I, I think that we're just going to go with the well-known father kind of guy. Um, of course, I'm male. I'm a man. Ooh, that guy looks pretty cool, actually. Should we keep him? I, I mean, I don't really like the mask on his... ...face. Um, I guess that's part of his hair. Yeah, that's part of his hair. Uh, wow. Okay. Is that glasses? Um, hmm. Interesting. Uh, let's see. What to choose? What to choose? Um, well, I could go at this for about a few there we go that's 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 great i mean there, you don't you don't want to get too specific in this and another part of this game is you want to kill four main people four legendary pirates so that's something that you're gonna have to keep in mind peter sunday got oh, whatever his name is and aaron tim Berners lee so that's gonna be fun i guess that's gonna be our goal in this series oh yeah wow wow that's Pretty bad storm going on over here. All right, so we don't have any guys yet. I don't believe that we'll um we'll want to hire anybody because uh if we hire anybody, they'll be bad. Yeah, even they don't even sell them for twenty gold. All right, let's just go ahead and get on our ship. Um, some of the uh, aspects of the game can get kind of glitchy though. Um. I did record an earlier episode, but for some reason, whenever I started it, it said game over automatically, so I don't know what the deal was with that, but, um, I mean, we fixed it now. So, let's go ahead and get started. So, what you want to do is press escape to get it to your main, uh, tab, where you can, uh, micromanage everything, so, like, your crew is in this section, and we can upgrade my own guy. So, let's just 
max out on that bonus damage. Well, we're not maxing out just of yet, but um, yeah, we we can get a, even up to like a thousand, I bet. But this is a pretty good blade, 5.94. Now you might notice that the Falcon Blade was named after his father, so that is a good thing to notice. So since we picked, picked, sorry, the father as the name Falcon Blade, we got that good sword. So that that's what's it called, Falcon Blade. I don't know why I just asked what it was called, but. Well, whatever. <laughs> um, okay, let's click at our world map. Pirate, pirate. Let's go ahead and go to the one up there. Now, here's the thing with this game. It does take a while to load sometimes. So I might be doing a few cuts here and there. Um, whenever the load scenes get a little bit big. But see, this one is already almost done. So that's good. Um, it gives you a chance to escape just in case you didn't want to attack him. And you accidentally clicked on it. Or... You just didn't feel like doing it. Um, okay, so our health is 51 compared to this 31 guy, so let's go ahead and get over there and attack him. Where's me booty? And done. Nice. Okay, we got a one one swimming book. That's good. Let's let's actually teach him how to swim right now because that is a good item to have just in case you get. Just you, in case you get lost. Now he does need like 5 TP to learn this well. That's something to keep in mind. So basically whenever you level up someone they get TP. So it's like a um, pretty much leveling up type of um, aspect to the game where you can once every time you level up you can upgrade some parts. But swimming here so you can see TP and then the um, the hyphen and then five. Um, that 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 has to have five T point TP. Sorry guys, TP points. You have to keep that in mind. Now this is a cool part to the game. You get to blow up the other enemy's ship once you have everybody off it. Look at that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So you got 80 gold from that. It's not too bad. And let's go ahead and see if you can attack another person. Pirate Danger 1, and we got another town. Cool. Um, it's good to keep track of your towns. That way you know where everything is. Um, later on in the game, once you get to level 3 towns, you can get cannons and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah. We might want to go back to our first town and hire another person once we're done with this. How much health is yet? 31. 51, we're already regent. Cool. Let's go ahead and get back up there. Oh, don't don't attack that. Attack that. No, get back. Get back. Okay. You don't want your guys to stand on the edge. I learned that the hard way. Um, I had a couple of guys drown um, a few times because of that. Mm, is that it? Oh, it's a nice boat. I mean, do you want... Okay. The messages do appear slightly... Uh, messages do disappear slightly fast, but it's so okay. Plunder! 80 gold. Nice. Let's go ahead and get to at least 200 gold. Um, we don't want to do any pirate, uh, pirates for level 1. That's for sure. Um, we explored that town. We want to get at least one or two guys before we do the pirate danger 2, because those do tend to have two or three, um, enemy pirates on there. Alright, so, ship crew of only one, Lonely Nathan3518 def defeats two pirates, day one. <laughs> Alright, let's see, savvy? I don't know, are you savvy? Let's see, I, the only reason I came to the island was to see if we had any blocks. Yeah, we do have some blocks, so let's go ahead and make our ship a little bit bigger. It's not really necessary, but I like it to be bigger. And do we have any... And we have one of these, so yeah, there's a blank block right there. Anyone wants to fall off, that's that's your and that's your way to fall off. Um I guess we could just keep it that way. I mean nobody really falls off in the game, but I mean it just just fantasy fantasy stuff. We still have both watermelons at full, so I'm not sure if you would wanna get another um some more food. 
But since we're gonna be hiring someone over here, we might want to do that. So let's see who to hire. Who to hire? Now this is a one of the one of the aspects that are kind of tricky. You don't want to hire someone that's so expensive because that actually um, kind of makes a snowball effect. That means you have to pay more, and then after that, they kind of want they want more stuff from you as as the game goes on. So you want to get someone who's kind of on the low end of price, but has good stats. So let's go ahead and see if we can do that. Um, he was a surveyor, that's nice. Fisherman, lawyer, mad scientist, candle maker, sword cutler, oh, anchor smith, hmm, box dweller. Now see, this is something that's a little bit too expensive. This guy right here, you don't want to get this guy, in my opinion. I mean, it kind of, kind of makes it bad. I didn't know that you could sell your <laughs> pirates. Oh, that's interesting. Um, go ahead and do the fisherman guy, cause then he might have a stat that lets him fish, and that could get us some more food. Um, if you do that, so let's go ahead and get that guy. We have 130 gold, so we can get one more guy if we chose to. He was a mad scientist. He was an acre man. He was a lawyer. Let's only aim for the 50, 50 range, 50 to 70. Candle maker, surveyor, anchor smith. He was a lawyer. That might mean he's smart. He might have a lot of intellect. Let's get that guy. All right. So now you can see up here it says, it's or here it says ship crew three. Um, okay, that is loud. I am sorry, guys. Get out of the tavern. Oh, that's much better. <laughs> um, so you right click on the area that you want them to go to, and then that makes the ship crew to go there, but you left click for the captain to go places. So let's see. We can't afford anything in the weapon section. Go to food. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we can get in items before we buy any food, because we're kind of good at food. Uh, we can't really get any books at the moment. Cooking is one ninety nine. We'll have to keep that in mind. Life boil, boy, boil, boy, 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 life boy. That's how you say that. But buy that and get some food as well. So now, whenever someone drowns, or well, someone gets underwater, they can um, they can pick themselves back up and live another day. <laughs> um, let's see. Can we upgrade anyone? No. We just got them, so I didn't really expect us to. Alright, alright. I wish I wish they walked a little bit faster. There are books to make them walk faster that we'll have to get in the future. But um at the moment we can't really do that because they are pretty expensive. Um But tell you what guys, we're gonna attack a level two pirate and hopefully hopefully you'll be able to end off the episode. Right here is only a level 1 of pirate, so after this hopefully there will be a level 2 pirate. And uh, that would be cool. And see how the morale is going down on this guy, so... This is where it gets kind of pricey, so... Pay all, now it's 5 gold. You might have noticed last time it was only 1 gold, that's why, that's because we were... Getting more and more sailors on our ship. So... That is something to note. Okay, so see, only one guy. So that's easy to take out. Now, all you need to do is make sure that none of y'all guys fall off, and you'll be good. So, like, right there, look at that. Easy. Plus one Hawkeyes. Now, I believe that's something about um, the ranged weapon. We can check that out real quick here. After we plunder the ship! Oh, so beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, let's see, um, where was it? Your crew, Nathan 3518, and Hawkeye's Critical Strike Steel Motor. So it wasn't exactly what I was thinking, but it's pretty close. Um, since he already has swimming, let's give the passive item of Life Boil to that guy. Right? Yeah. And we'll give you Hawkeye's. Yeah, you have a good sword. So we'll give you that Hawkeye's. Alright, we want to get someone who can clean the 
the poop deck because sometimes these guys will poop and then of course this seagull this annoying seagull just starts pooping on your own ship so <laughs> great right uh road map oh uh, okay we'll do one more level one and if you don't get a level two then we'll have to end off the episode after that but i do hope y'all enjoy this series um I do plan on making a lot of videos because this series is just amazing in my opinion. It just is so um, sandbox like they pre-generate your world um, using the way that you answer the questions at the beginning and that is pretty cool in my opinion. And break that urn. Anything? Yeah, two gold. Okay, so you saw that right there Nathan3518 is level 4 so now you should be able to upgrade um, his TP points. We got 80 gold from that. Let's see. Let's see. So, see right there, it doesn't let me just up yet, but TP to 2. If it went to 5, it would upgrade, I believe. But we would just want to do. Let's see. What do we want to do? What do you want to do? Let's just do damage for now. Because he does have that Falchion Blade, sir. So, it does quite a bit of damage. Okay, so we'll do one of these guys, and then hopefully all our people survive, and we can do another, um, and then we can end off the episode. Not see he pooped again. We, we really need one of those books. Um, probably next episode, uh, once we plunder the ship, hopefully, or once we... Oh, okay, we got a treasure chest on... Oops. We got a treasure chest on that ship. Interesting. Let's see, do we have anything to give as a um, ranged weapon? Yes, we have three rocks, just enough for our whole um, whole amount of people. Let's see, how much does that hammer do? 2.65? 20% for five seconds, but that's pretty good. For 15% chance though, so it's not, not going to happen all the time. Um, let's also pay their morale, or pay their salary, whatever. Right, let's go. Hopefully we don't die from this. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Okay. All right. They're doing good. Okay. Okay. They are doing pretty good, actually. Wow. Nice job. All right. So another part of this game lets you capture the ship. So you'll still get the watermelons from that ship, but you'll also be able to... Uh, have this ship with us. So let's go ahead and open this chest and end off the episode. What's in it? 40 gold and one small elixir. Oh man, that's some good stuff right there. All right, let's capture the ship guys. I Really hope y'all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please remember to leave a like on it. It helps me out a ton We'll have a lot more episodes coming out for you in a few days, so be prepared, keep your eyes out, be sure to subscribe if you want to know when these episodes come out, and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye, guys!